Hello and welcome everyone to New Heights Wrestling. My name is Jeannie Jem. On today's episode, we will see Mr. Handle That Mike Faison take on the regulator of the world, LJ. LJ has seemed lost in the past few months, blaming it all on the lack of guidance he has had in his life. Earlier today, our cameras were able to get a word with LJ. Let's go to that footage now. After the Bulldog Bash, and I went one-on-one -on -one with the giant, Waylon Barley. What's sad is, I should have been better. I could have been better if I had better mentors. People like Gutter, he couldn't teach me what I needed to know. I had to learn to see if I could actually hang in this business. To see if I can actually beat a giant like Waylon Barley. Because if I can't even do it, what's the point of me being here? What is it? Hey fans, it's the man they call Dave with producer Joe and you probably know us as the commentary team for New Heights Pro Wrestling, but when we're not doing that, we got a podcast. That is the Working Fans Podcast where we talk pro wrestling, comedy, MMA, and so much more. And tell them about that signature segment. Oh, you talk about the 531? You know I am. That is a homegrown creation that has been our namesake. And if you want to know our namesake, we got Chevy, AJ Strange Brew, as well as the two of us. And why don't you go to our uh, channel, like, subscribe, show us some love. Rate, review, all of it. Hey there, everyone. My name is Jeannie Jem. And if you're enjoying what you're watching here at New Heights Wrestling, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe here on YouTube. You can also find us on other forms of social media, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure to share with your friends. Let them see all the exciting action that New Heights Wrestling has to offer. And then I want to hear from you. Put your comments down below. I want to know what you love about New Heights Wrestling. Thank you so much for checking out New Heights Wrestling. And remember to always stay sparkly. Check out the fast-paced action wrestling card game, Go Fight Pow! Create your own intergalactic fight club and play out the results of your own wrestling company, featuring over 100 unique characters and some of wrestling's hottest stars of past and present. The possibilities are endless. Visit gofightpow.fws.store and become a promoter today. The weather is heating up and so is the action as New Heights Wrestling presents Grand Slam on June 8, 2024 at the Walton County Fairgrounds in Defuniac Springs, Florida. Show up early because doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is at 7. General admission tickets are $8, $15 front row, kids 6 to 11 are $6, kids 5 and under are free. This has been by far the biggest year in New Heights Wrestling history, so come on out and see your favorite stars at a Grand Slam. That was a word from our great sponsors. And now back to Jimmy Jeff. Welcome back. Mike Faison has proven time and time again that he is one of the most dominant men in New Heights Wrestling. Mike has been fired up all day and is ready for action. In just a few moments, he will put the regulator of the world, LJ, to the test. Before we get to the action, our cameras are standing by with Mr. Handle That. Let's go to them now, then to Joe and Dave at ringside. Over to you, Mike. Tonight, bound and determined here in Defuniac Springs, it ain't gonna be different from any other night. I'm gonna show everybody why I'm the best, why I'm the top dog around here. And LJ, if you wanna make a name for yourself, you better bring your A game tonight, cause I'm gonna show you just like I show everybody else why they call me Mr. Handle That. Dave, this is quite a contest we have here between Mike Faison and LJ. Yes, it is. And what the man for the job. It's the Working Fans Podcast. The man they call Dave, producer Joe. And Joe, I'm excited about this match. I want to see, can LJ handle Mike Faison? That's the big question. Mike Faison coming out first. LJ has been wanting to distance himself from the Gulf Coast Regulators. We've seen it over the past six months, believing he's bigger than the Regulators, and now saying that Gutter might not have been the mentor that he needed. Look at Mike Mason. He's always got that intensity, and I feel like this is why he's one of the top guys here at New Heights Always. 
And that's why LJ is targeting him. What better way to stand on your own two feet than going out against the biggest and the baddest? And Mike Faison, if you want to look at the flip side of the coin, is not afraid to test young talent. No. If you can get a win over Mike Faison, you should be get, able to get a win over anybody facing one of the biggest and baddest in New Heights wrestling. Yeah, you know, that's the thing, right? When you reach a certain plateau somewhere, a lot of times guys don't want to punch down. They don't want to fight the guys coming up. They want to get the bigger matches. Mason, he doesn't care. Send whoever. You're young and hungry? Come my way. Let's see how good you are. It's almost as if, like, Faison looks at himself like the proving ground. Mm. LJ wants to, wants to establish himself. You can see himself calling himself the regulator of the world. We saw it, LJ step in the ring with another bad man at the Bulldog Bash in Wayland Bar. You know, some might, some like Cerise might even say that Barley bullied LJ. I, I'm sure they would say that. But that doesn't make it accurate. Face it, you know, he's confident as always. You know, I wouldn't call it arrogance, you know. He's a great guy, but he's got that confidence like, you know, star athletes do. He believes in himself. LJ has that heart of a fighter. If that's one thing that the regulators taught LJ, it was to be relentless, to keep fighting no matter the disadvantage, no matter who your opponent is. Big lock up here. Whoa. LJ quickly uh -huh. thrown backwards. Yeah. I don't think, listen, LJ's got that heart. That's fine, but you don't want to go straight up and, like, face it in the power department. That's not going to work out for you. Well, let's see. We're going to lock up again. Face it just as yeah. easily tossing LJ to the other side of the ring. Oh. LJ getting a little frustrated here. Yeah. Wants to prove himself, but the crowd getting in his ear. You can prove yourself other ways. you got to maybe go after the legs, do some quickness, but... Going head up, power for power, Mike Faison. Well, it's, it hasn't worked twice. Let's see here. Oh, my God, what a Beal. He just bealed him right from a lockup. Oh, man, man, LJ landed hard on that shoulder, too. Faison having a little fun in there. You know, LJ being just dominated by Faison Woo! here. And Dave, the question that pops in my mind, we're talking about LJ breaking away from the regulators. Maybe if LJ got around the right guidance, maybe he could go farther in this business. It's something that's got to be in the back of his head. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Basic took that with those straps, add a little extra on that chop. Because no matter how much gutter can teach you, can he teach you to be in the ring with a mic face? Yeah, that's something he's going to have to figure out himself. And right now, He's definitely, I don't know if he's figuring out, but he's definitely getting an understanding. This is a tale as wow. old as time. David versus Goliath. Oh. And right now, Goliath is winning. But it's, it's tough when you're in the ring with a mic face. I think the ref even grabbed his chest after that last shot. There's some stomps. Look at face it. He is so intense right now. Mason is not even breaking a sweat no, in the ring no, right he there. Is, he is no. locked in. Super focused. And Mason is making really no mistakes right now. Oh, oh I might have spoke too soon. Shoulder to the pose. LJ moved out of what the way just in time. Tornado DDT. Off that second rope. Trying to make up for that height differential Whoa. between these two. But Mason yes. right back up. LJ was not prepared for that wow. big lariat. How many people just pop up from a tornado DDT? Mike Faison, that's who. LJ looks overwhelmed in that ring right now. Faison, he's looking for that suplex. Picks him up like a sack of potatoes, and he is holding him there. Count it. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. Unbelievable. The power to be able to hold that delayed vertical suplex with no effort and a no. smile on his face. Now oh, he's having fun in here. 
know, he made one mistake. LJ capitalized on it and basically popped up like an animal. This is why Faison is one of the top dogs in New Heights wrestling. One of the baddest men to step in a sure. New Heights ring. Big clothesline. LJ is feeling every bit of it. The intensity, the physicality Mike Faison brings to New Heights is on another level. Oh, here we go. Stomping that mat. Waiting for LJ to get up. What is he lining him up for? Oh! Big boot! Big jumping boot. Faison. I can't believe LJ's moving after that. Mike either. Faison caught every bit of that boot there. This is a rough night at the office. You're Nagy. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. Can you handle that? Uh, LJ can't. That was rough. Mike Faison. Oh. Rough night at the office for LJ, but Mike Faison continues to impress every time we see him out here. You gotta wonder now, what, what is LJ's direction gonna be? He wanted to strike out from the regulators. But can LJ wow. make it on his own? I don't know, this was... Uh, to be fair, fair, this is this a is tough my, opponent yeah, this to is a tough opponent. This is Mike Faison. And Mike Faison continues to show why he's one of the best here. But yeah, this is LJ, he's gonna have to figure this out. Just look at him, he's... He's frustrated ooh, in that frustrated. ring. We've seen him over the past six months, the growing confidence that he's had. And I feel like that confidence took a hit tonight. Yeah. He's embarrassed. He wants to re recollect himself. And if you want to recollect yourself, go over to New Heights Wrestling. Check out all the great matches on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Use the hashtag in HW Pro. But most importantly, thank you for joining us. Good night, everybody.